Well, tonight, finally, we can look at the Leatherman Charge. Now, this has been months in the making. I have been thinking about the Leatherman Charge, and one of my biggest questions about the Leatherman Charge is, how is it different from a normal Leatherman Wave? Now, this is the first generation Leatherman Wave that Richard from the channel so kindly sent in to review, and I will get to this and make a, a separate video on this eventually, but... What sets the Leatherman Charge apart from the Leatherman Wave Plus? So there are three main features, and I'm sure perhaps some of you will say, well, there's this feature and this feature. So three main features is blade steel, the serrated gut hook, and the scales. So those are what come to mind but there are some, there is at least one other difference I notice on my charge as well. So let's go over the features. The, this will be the same dimensions as the Leatherman Wave. So it's got that four inch frame and you can interchange parts on the Leatherman Wave and the charge as far as I know. All right. So we have the nice needle nose pliers. We've got the replaceable cutters. We have the crimpers at the bottom. And then when we close the pliers, we start to see the difference. So this is one of the differences between the wave. This is a 154 cm blade still. So it will be better blade than the wave. And I can say that my wave, uh, Leatherman wave blade is already getting sort of beat up from use and it needs definitely a tune up. And so it is nice to see better blade steel that you can get in some multi-tools. The, one of the other big differences is also the serrated knife and the gut hook. So that's really nice. Now, wh what is one of the practical applications for that if you're not a hunter? Well, I think zip ties, it might be a perfect tool for zip ties. And that might be something if you work around that, uh, that might be a good option. Zip ties, strings, you know, just basic cutting. To me, I see that as a big advantage as well. I love to use this rated blade on my wave clones at work. And they really go through like insulation and cardboard and and I've really come to appreciate them a lot more than I ever thought I would. Then on the other side is the file. Now this is a three side file, diamond, then your normal file on this side, and then the cutting edge on the bottom, and or the file, but you could cut metal, I guess, in some extent, to some extent. And then there is the sole as well. Now, one of the things I noticed that is different is it's a lot smoother opening the knife on the Leatherman Charge. Now, this is an older model, but still it seems like it hasn't been modified or adapted. And it's a lot smoother than what I'm used to on some of the other models. So, for instance, uh, this is one of the older Leatherman Waves. And you can just tell that it's not near as smooth. Leatherman has definitely improved some things, especially in the charge, just a lot smoother opening. And someone else had mentioned that their charge is smoother as well. And I'm not sure if every charge is, but fortunately mine is. And then also on the inside, you have, as far as I can tell, an identical tool set to the Leatherman Wave. You have the scissors, you have the micro driver, you have the large screwdriver as well. And then on the other side, you have the bit driver and then you have the can opener and the bottle opener and the wire stripper as well. So you have all those included on this side. You do have the ruler. I don't think a lot of people use that, but it is included here as well. Now, one of the other big advantages on the charge is that you can change these scales. So if, for instance, this one had some a logo on it, and I think I got it for a cheaper price on eBay be, because of that, but I could go ahead and get some carbon fiber or G10 scales. Uh, you can get some brass scales. There are all kinds of options on the 
a secondary market and you can deck your charge out in all kinds of different ways red white blue if you wanted to there are so many many options on the leatherman charge and those are not really options on the leatherman wave so i've i've done some i've used some like grip tape essentially on mine and maybe some people would say i've made it worse maybe i've spiced it up a little bit but but you really can't do that much on the Leatherman Wave. But on the Leatherman Charge, that's one of the big advantages. You can actually do many things and make it look nice and professional. So I really do like that about the Charge. Now, is the Leatherman Charge worth it? I think that's a question you'll have to ask or settle yourself. If you are a person that EDCs the Leatherman Charge and you don't abuse it, then yes probably the Leatherman Charge is the better option over the Leatherman Wave because I think you, you may be happy with that extra option on the gut hook on the serrated knife, the smoother opening blades, the better blades. I think all those are nice. So I think that may in the long run be an advantage and be a better option over the Leatherman Wave. Now, if you take it to work and you lose it, then you've spent all that money and then you just lose it. Uh, that might not be a good option if you have a habit of losing or breaking your tools and it constantly has to be sent in for warranty. That could be a problem. So I think it's up to you and your personality. I, I do think the Leatherman Charge, some of the models are a little bit outrageous. So the base model seems to be, you know, I could see that, but some of the other models seem a little sort of ridiculous there are some special edition ones where they have wood grain and gold and they're running for like two thousand dollars i don't think that's a good option now one of the other things i wanted to mention is the leatherman surge i believe would really benefit from having a charge version in its lineup and my idea is to call it the surcharge so <laughs> that's a joke I'm sure Leatherman would not appreciate. But anyway, I thought it was a good one. But if you would call it the surcharge and then have some options where you could luxur luxurize, let's just make up some words, luxurize the Leatherman surge and add some better blade steel and add some scales. I think that would be popular and I think would actually go over very well. But like with most ideas, it probably will never happen. And we'll see. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.